Save state. Let's do it again anyway. Yeah. Alright. Cool. Yo! Yo, 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 YouTube! What's going on? Welcome back to Super Mario Marathon. I'm still in Super Mario Bros. 2. We're at the very end of Super Mario Bros. 2. I'm at World 7, and we should be able to beat this today. Let's go. Swiggity swag, what's in the bag? Swiggity swag, what's in the bag? <laughs> that was perfect timing. Awkward! Okay, yeah. I remember now, I did this. Yeah, this is 7-1, so that was a genuine skip. Not just a bonus world thing. Ah, oh, man, I need to remember what I did. I need to remember how I- I mean, I cheesed my way through this. Now I'm gonna beat it legit this time. I need to ride a bird. Rocket ship. Yep. Oh, yes, that's right. Totally worth it. Okay. It's the legend of Zelda, and it's really bad. Hey, yo, Sapora. Welcome in, bro. Whoop, whoop. That was going nowhere. That was going nowhere. Let's try that again. Hey, yo. Whoa. 
Gotcha. At work during the storm. Hmm. Yeah, that's that's unfortunate. I I even got I saw it in the news. I didn't get a warning, but I saw it as a warning, like in the general weather. Save state here. Three, four. I guess the smarter option would have been to try to run through. That's tricky. Best of luck to you, Sephora. That sounds like a pretty, pretty irritating situation, to put it lightly. Irritating on top of stressful. Oh, I made it! Hey, thanks for the boost! to behold Satan as he falls from the heavens! Nice. Only one, though. Okay. Alright, save state. Alright, this might be it. 7-2. Might be it. I know this is last level. I'm saying this might be it, but this might be last episode. I might be able to wrap it up here. Bear this and get to Mario Bros. 3. Oh, I'm so excited. I am genuinely the most excited for Mario 3. Ah. Thank you. 
Nope. <laughs> can, I, can I get a do over? We don't want to do that. Yeah, I'm better off doing it this way. Okay. Skipping something. Whoa! Whoa! Suckers! Whoop. Get up there. like double up when I come back. Oh god, how am I supposed to get through that? Not with Ouija, that's how, because he's too fluttery. Sometimes the hang time is too much. Try that. They saw that coming. God damn it, I keep doing that. <laughs> Stop jumping in front of the freaking bullet. Oh, 
motherfucker. I'm trying to get health and I keep getting hit. the health that time. I don't know why I was going for it. <sighs> Got this. I'm almost there, goddammit. Do I even... Yeah. You piece of shit! I just, like... Oh, man. Oh, was that a good idea? Yes, it was. Okay. Okay. Get in there. Bullshit. Oh, come on! What? What? This game is fucking stupid sometimes. <laughs> that throwing, it, it, like, the throwing is just nonsense sometimes. I don't have to go down and around. That's nice. No. Save stating right here. Right here. Thank you very much. Anything, please? Anything out of that? Ooh. Oh. Probably have to. Hi. Birdo with a mask. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. Give me 
again. Actually sure if I had to duck there. The Legend of Zelda Birdo the Legend of Peach Birdo's Mask. Okay. Out of the way. Ah, god damn it. <laughs> Can we like relax for a goddamn second? For like just a second. Am I allowed to stand still? I jumped. I did not hit up. I jumped. I don't know what happened there. I do that, more of them will spawn, but never mind. This game does what it wants. Oh, you're kidding me with that. Utter garbage. is just shit. Like, it's the game's main mechanic, and it's just shit. Hey, yo, Snipes with the raid. What up, bro? Devil May Cry. How was the stream? How was, how was your day? Were you ever a fan of Mario 2? Because I never was, and to be honest, still not. Still not a crazy fan. I never, I never beat the game before, and I never was interested. But, uh, still not... Yeah, still not great. Whoa! What the fuck? God damn it! Me either. Let's finish DMC4, going into 5. Oh, you say you never played that. You never played Devil May Cry. That's dope. Going into a blind. That's pretty cool. God, fuck this screen. 
Fuck this screen. Fuck this level. Fuck this utter garbage. Like I said before, it's not its not like the game is just stupidly hard that it's unplayable. No, that's not the case, but the thing about Mario games is it's fun to replay the levels. It, they, they're always fun to go back. Even even if you lose a million times, there's an essence of, you know, there's, a, there's encouragement, there's motivation to go back to the beginning of the level and learn it better. I do not feel that here. I feel none of that in any of this game. I do not want to try the levels over again to get better. I want to just get through them. None of this is none of, none of this feels challenging. It feels tedious. It feels like I'm slogging through. I'm not trying to be like extra harsh on it, but that's that's like my evaluation of the game so far. Like seriously, I that that's where they missed the mark with this one. I know the whole story, the whole, I've gone over it, the Doki Doki Panic, the, this game is not the original Mario 2, it's a completely different game, like, mechanic-wise, and, yeah, you, you can tell why they went back to the Mario 1 style for Mario 3, because this, th there's just too many little things, the, the, the little things, the little nuances, or, that's not the word, the, the, the little nuisances, in this game really add up quickly like really add up quickly and they just like it's not fun to slog through over and over <laughs> if i didn't have save states i would not have the i would not have the patience for this game there are very fun moments but as an overall package mm, mm, it uh it overstays its its welcome very quickly like stuff like this. I don't I don't know if it's just me. It could be down to preference, but I don't find this like fun. This is just <laughs> the same freaking Birdo egg bullshit, but now in a tighter space, and my reward is I get to be chased by a mask. Great. Like this doesn't feel rewarding. This feels like I'm just pushing through. And then you get shit like that. Freaking item hitboxes cancel each other. Oh my god, dude. Like, you cannot let your guard down for anything. Literally anything. There's no give to anything. It's funny how both Mario 2 and Zelda 2 are considered the black sheep of the family, and I think it's for the same reasons. I was watching, um, I was watching some, you know, Zelda trivia stuff, random stuff, and Zelda 2 was rushed in development, as is, you know, usually you pretty, pretty predictable case, but... Uh, uh, compared to other Zeldas, they just didn't have the time to utilize the system to fit their I their ideas. They basically just had ideas and made them into an NES game. And and that shows. Like, there's a lot of basic NES elements that aren't, like, specialized for the game. And I see that here, too. I don't know if it's, like... I don't know if that's an accurate way to describe this, but this... This feels like a classic, grindy, difficult for the sake of difficult NES game. Not a fully thought out Mario game. And again, it's not. It's a different game with a Mario skin. But that that it, I find that interesting how both Zelda 2 and Mario 2 both kind of suffered the same fate in a different way. Like, these don't feel like special experiences. These don't feel like a unique experience. These feel like just another NES game. Which is... which is rough. Death by a thousand what?
Get them in. I am save stating right here. Get me in. Okay, at least the mask doesn't follow. Oh fuck, it's the bird. Yep. Yep. I am once again save stating right here. Also, yeah, this is also bullshit. I knew the bird was there this time, but if I didn't, I would've... If I didn't already come to this world and thought it was a bonus world and, you know, already experienced this, I don't know how I would've felt. If I made it this far and this thing just ended up killing me in the end, I don't know how I would've reacted to that. Once again, I have safe states, so I'm not, like, actually raging. I have a way out. Is this Toad Boss? I think this is... I think this is Wart. That's his name. Are we here? Did we make it? Suck, motherfucker. Damn it. Damn it, dude, the throwing just blows. I don't get it. Like, I get it between, like, if I'm, if I'm stopped, if I'm stopped, it throws short. If I'm running, it throws long, but I, it's like, if I stop short in the air, it also throws short. There's such a... Oh, its mouth has to be open. <sighs> okay, enough complaining. Enough complaining about a fucking 30-year-old game. <laughs> We're almost there. We got this. We got this. Damn it, too soon. Too soon. Ah. Should have known that would happen. We're just beating him, though. Why does this hurt? God damn it. God damn it. Looks like a Simpsons character with his mouth open. Oh! What the f- Okay. I've done this, I did this once. Although it was cheesing it. Why are you broken? Why are you so like, there we go, the, the, it stopped. Ugh. 
Oh my god! Fucking bubbles. Can you stop making bubbles like an attack for enemies? If I'm gonna be killed, can I be killed by something like, you know, not embarrassing and pathetic? I'm just, this is general rant, not even about this game anymore. Can we stop using fucking bubbles as an attack? It is probably the most infuriating. Let Pokemon have it, that's it. Fucking A, dude. Oh my god, this is garbage. I've lost my patience a little, but still. That was just the wrong way. Okay. Just gotta stay underneath. Why did that miss? That is such horse shit. The throwing fucking blows. I don't get it. Bubble beam is kind of OP when you think about it. Yeah, that's the problem. Stop making it OP. Stop. It's it's fucking bubbles. Like that's <laughs> that is exactly my problem. Stop making it OP. yet death by onions didn't Like, I'm, I'm really not trying to just rail on the game, and I don't know if it's just me. A lot of it probably is just my personal preference, but I find this stupid. I, I, I find this just not fun. Like, I would rather du dodge and duck Bowser, wait for him to jump, than this. Like, I... It's not that I want simplicity, it's not that it's hard, it's that this is just genuinely not... If I miss, I'm dodging these bubbles. That's it. Fuck. What, see, what? Oh, I know, I know. Bad jump on me. That was too soon. I'll fully admit when I know things are my fault, and most of it is still my fault. But, uh, again, back to my point, even failing in a regular Mario game, it's still fun to try and try again. Failing at this feels like I just undid my chores for the day. <laughs> now 
I have to do them again. And then there's that fucking bullshit throw. I'm right in front of him. Okay, thanks. Oh my god! Why did that go straight down? I was moving forward! That doesn't make any sense! Yes, it would. Doesn't make this fight any more enjoyable. My God! Dog shit! Sorry. <laughs> A little loud that time. That throw is really getting to me, because I don't get it. I should, like, what is preventing me from throwing it further? I'm holding forward, and I throw. And there, that was a perfect throw. Sometimes it literally just doesn't. And I'm doing nothing different. That didn't even connect with him. Right, the fucking bubble kills it. If the bubble doesn't kill it, it just he just moves out of the way. And if all else goes right, his hitbox just says no. Like, come on, dude. Give me a little bit of fucking leeway here. Thank you. 
I'm just like second and third guessing every single action and I'm spacing out because of it I'm like I don't know what to focus on and I can't and I can't mm. are you dead yet Are you dead yet? Ah. <sighs> ah. Twenty one Luigi. One each. I don't know, dude. I don't know if it's just me. I'm fully willing to admit it's just me. I didn't have the patience and it's not my type of game, but... That was not a fun boss. I did not feel compelled to actually beat him. I felt... I felt compelled because I wanted to beat the fucking game, but... I don't know, that... <laughs> So, Super Mario Brothers 2. Um, yikes. Again, just like Zelda 2, I'm I, I really am seeing why it's the black sheep or a black sheep of the series. It's not bad, it's not terrible, it's not ungodly broken, like unplayable mess. But there's a lot that you need to forgive. A lot you need to kind of stomach. I don't know. Maybe it's just because I am a real fan of 1 and 3 and World and the other Mario games. We've gone over it a million times. If you've watched anything on YouTube, you know the story of Doki Doki Panic and the original Mario 2. I've even, like I said, I've gone over it. I... This is this just doesn't feel like a Mario game. Point blank. This was not This was early on. They were still establishing their footing as a series, so it's weird to call it that, but it honestly what the series did become, this is a far outlier. That's not oh, okay, yeah, that's right. They they mixed up freaking I remember seeing this before. They mixed up Birdo and Ostro's names in the credits. So they couldn't even get that right. I don't know, man. I know this is a lot of people's favorites. I know a lot of people love this game, but I don't see it. I see the first two levels, the first two worlds. Even then, World 2 kind of immediately dived into the Mega Man bullshit. Uh, that was... Th th this was a rough one. This is not... Th this is, does not go on top. This does not go in my top favorite Marios. But all the same... I'm glad I did it so that I can say that, so that I can actually, I have a, this is part of the reason I'm doing these marathons. I like doing these let's plays of games that I haven't played all the way before. So I actually have a, a full opinion on it. In short, if you grew up with this, if you're an NES veteran, fucking, my hat is off to you. My Mario cap is off to you. If you're an NES veteran and you slog through this game with no save states, only the cartridge, only the natural saving, Godspeed, because holy shit was this. And, and like I said during the Let's Play, I can feel this game feels like an NES game. It doesn't feel like a grandiose, like maximum effort. You know what I mean? Like, something about Mario 1 and 3 feels substantial. Something about Zelda 1 feels different. It feels like a... Like, the NES was built for this game. The NES was built to... Like, it was being completely exploited and completely taken advantage of to make this game. I don't feel that in Zelda 2, and I don't feel that in this game. 
and for very similar reasons. This feels like a stock NES game with Mario sprites on it. This feels like a run-of-the-mill, generic, platforming adventure NES game. Right down to, like, hit points. Whew, but, that was Mario 2. We did it. We bit it. We bit it. We bit it right in the face. Uh, yeah, sta save states and cheesing whatnot. I don't care. I was not <laughs> that I, I was not having fun replaying and replaying this, but that was Mario 2, so that's... We beat it. I can say I've beaten it. I can say we're done with that. Next week, next Mario is going to be a very special entry in the marathon. Because next week, we start Super Mario Bros. 3. This game is very, very special to me, and I'll explain why then. Not this cartridge specifically, this cartridge is very special to me for a different reason, because Chelsea got me this on Christmas two years ago, two Christmases ago. And I've turned it on and played it, I wanted it more as a collector's item, just to kind of have. I didn't fully intend on, like, playing it to death, but I also don't just shelve my games, I do want to play it at some point. So... This game, probably my favorite 2D Mario. Like, still to this day, my favorite 2D Mario. This game is very personal to me, very close to me. And I am super, super excited to start this next week. So, with that, you guys, thank you all for joining me on this marathon so far, on this journey. Through all of the Super Mario... Well, through a curated list of Super Mario games that I have access to. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you there.